In this science project, you'll learn about your local watershed and how land use impacts it. You'll also identify common sources of nutrient pollution in your local watershed and compare them to other areas in your watershed to better understand common causes of nutrient pollution in your local environment. To model your local watershed, first go to this website and then click on the Get Started button. On the Select Area page, use the drop-down menu to select your boundary. We recommend using HGC 10 to start. On the map, select your area of interest. As you can see, it highlighted the region we selected. Then you'll head to the Model tab and select the 30-year model. Wait for the data to generate and then take a look at the hydrology information. Measurements such as surface runoff, subsurface flow, and precipitation are important indicators for watershed modeling. Next, head over to the Water Quality tab to learn more about common water health indicators such as sediment analysis and abundant nutrient pollutants in the water, such as excess nitrogen and phosphorus. You can even download this data to make analysis even easier. Next, you can select another area of watershed to compare the first region to a second region and answer questions about how these regions compare in their hydrology, water quality, and sources that contribute to excess nutrients in the watershed. For more detailed instructions on how to do this science project yourself, use the link in this video's description. Thank you for watching and see you next time.